The name is so smooth because his game is so smooth. And he's that two-way presence in midfield, getting goals and getting assists. He's one to watch. It'll be loose center backs in front of you. Organize and be commanding with your voice. Gian from the corner, two assists on the season. Not a bad service, but there's a foul in the box called out of their possession. Three on three here. This could be something for Clemson, led by Musa. It's still Musa going for goal. Struck it well, but off target. That's a big warning sign from. Feeds it outside for Lee. Michael Lee from Toronto, a step over. That's so unfortunate. Slip through down the left side for Duquesne. Oh, and they crowd that six and make it really uncomfortable for any on rushing as it did last year. And here's John on his favorite left foot. Going for a goal is just over the bar. A blistering strike from Ransford Gian, the true freshman. Uh, Gian, such a handful, whether it's him or Musa running down your throat. And I like this. This is the second time we've seen on the prowl but a free kick now for the Cardinals slow line drive and a chance there they're shouting for a penalty Louisville we saw a fistful of Jersey it's one they maybe take a look at free kick given now the other way going for Clemson got in the call now from Matthew Thompson he's informing the coaches judging by that reaction from John Michael Hayden seems now at home against the Tigers it's Gage Guerra against Joseph Andema and Guerra knocks it home a perfectly taken penalty, and the Cardinals have the lead. He's back. Gage Guerra, the man in the middle, the man from the spot. Look at the confidence, and look at the power. Joseph Medema, night-night, with the penalty. Sends it out. Arthur Duquesne floats it. The head of the save by Piella. Oh, the true freshman keeps it 1-0. Gibay looking over the top, hoping for this one. Meinhard finds Flynn, squirt back toward Musa, volley through by Duquesne. Took a deflection, and it's still alive before it's cleared. It is Gibay, and it's stopped by Piella. Read it the whole way, cheated a little bit. If Gabe might have seen that coming and gone the other way, Piela got a jump on it and was able to just not as a starter. And Mike Newton calls him their most creative player. Here he is on it now. Quick little touch, and you already see what he brings in that number 10 role. Musa's shot stops. Character, and so far they've shown good resolve. Gabe from the corner, back about playing out to the right side for Condich. Comes left instead for Dargento. Daitano Dargento coming in in his more natural midfield position. Nice move at the end line from Musa. Overlap, maybe one last try in this first half for Clemson. Clock winds down, and Louisville is going to take a 12 team in the nation. Uh, it's all the character checklist things that you want to see. If As how they will handle the absence of Jerome Gabe. We'll see what it looks like in half number two. Zawa, how about this run from Gian, keeping his balance the whole way. Duquesne bent for Louisville for their win last time out against Lipscomb. Flag stayed down here for Subachan. Subachan's in! Subachan scores! Clemson wondering where the offside flag is. Nowhere to be seen. The Cardinals strike just like that. You look at this. There's always cover anytime Clemson players on the drive. This Louisville side, and they're playing very heroic right now. From the corner, a good ball, barring them slipping against two uh, lower level opponents in the next two matches against Evans. Top five or top six of the conference. They all play each other to end the season. As the true greatness oh of Ronaldinho, goodness. and I, I almost walked out of the room. Here's a nice play for Musa, but it's gobbled up by Piella. Not quite Ronaldinho-esque there from that ball. Served in now for Musa, and it's saved again by Piella. Right. They're in danger of that happening here. Gage Garrett trying to make it three for Louisville. A wicked back wanted to give it right back for Sandy. Now he does. Tight as Sandy, chips it back. Post! There's one back for Clemson! They can strike just like that. And you have a goal and a limp for Wahab Musa. He did not come down cleanly, but it doesn't matter. It's a one-goal game. And this is much more like it. Look at the skill. Techers, thank you very much. But the movement of Musa. Musa actually had a goal. He's not here, so that's massive for them to find another supply line to get in this game. I'm impressed with his persistence. And speaking of persistence, there's a good driving arm. Illuminato swings it through. The substitute Kelly off the bench finds an equalizer for Clemson. 
Not even 30 seconds after coming on, the Tigers have come all the way back. I warned you, do not sleep on the Tigers. And this is just about being in the wrong place at the wrong time for the likes of Josh Jones in the right place at the right time for Kelly. Keep an eye. Here they go again, Clemson. You mentioned they score in bunches. Can they take a lead now? It's Gian. It's through. It's saved by Piella. Wow. Substitution in because it says he was substituted in at 75-41. And it also working it through. Lay it off now toward Kelly. Still bouncing around for Johnny. Chips it. Oh, a rainbow. And somewhere over that rainbow, Clemson finds a lead. This game has become absolute madness. <laughs> a tale of two complete different halves and different start to the half. And credit to Clemson for believing that they can stay with it. And my, oh my, the skill. Can Louisville punch back, play it in at the back post. That might have been a handball against the Cardinals. Nothing gets called, no harm, no foul in the end. Louisville trying to make the case that it should be a penalty, but it looked like it came off the hand of the player wearing white. They will stop it and go over to the monitor. Michael, my first glance, it seemed like it was a handball. Like turn. I was just going to say, that's the phrasing, inconclusive. It may be, maybe not, but if you have it, be moving okay. And now the free kick for Clemson. Whipped in, flicking somebody else, but we will look to confirm. Now from the free kick for Louisville, floated in toward Jones. Over the top again toward Musa. Almost falls nicely. And Ransford John continues to run, lays it off to make it 4 2. Train of the night here in this second half. Three goals in six and a half minutes, looking for another. Raises the right arm. Kondich delivers. Traffic in front. Power we've seen from Clemson this year, the last half hour. And it's much more like it. Tigers. They were down 2-0. They scored three goals in six and a half minutes. And Clemson, as a result, avoid the upset and get their first win on the road against Louisville in eight years.